a delightful green tea blend enhanced with mint leaves for an added accent. For an even more refreshing experience, serve iced with fresh sprigs of mint. It's very dark. I guess it's all the cherry. This is Jen. Is This evening I have a Sip Spy unboxing for you guys. Sip Spy is a tea subscription service. They send out four personalized teas in the sense that they ask your preferences. And I have actually like talked to some of my subscribers that are subscribed to Sip Spy. Um, and they don't get the same teas as me, so it actually is personalized. I'm always a little like, oh, maybe they don't really, you know, when you give them your preferences, they're probably just like, you know, you're in this section and you're in that section, and that's it. But people seem to have a really different box, so it's cool. So Sip Spy has kindly sent me this box. And it is the December box. And before we get inside to discover our teas, um, as is tradition on my channel, I'm just going to spend a few minutes making some sleepy cardboard sounds. And this will be a no tapping video. So there will be no tapping at all. Just fingertips, nail tips. If you prefer just to see the teas, feel free to skip ahead. Timestamps are down below. Otherwise, relax and enjoy. Let's have a little look at December's teas. Okay. 
can see green tea, I can see mint, I can see something red and something orange. I'm a tea, that's quite, I get that quite regularly, quite like it. And the others I'm not sure about. Okay. Let me pop this to the side and let's have a look at each tea one by one. Um, I'm just going to read the little blurb for this month first. So made for you, Jen. We hope you can feel the extra warmth and joy in your December cup of gin. This is the most wonderful time of the year, and we're sending cheer to you and yours this holiday season and into the new year. Share a pic of your sips by box with us to enter to win a free month. Use hashtag sips by box and tag at sips by and the brands below. each time I read that. Okay, so the first one is the Ahmed tea. Let's have a look. This first one is a green tea. You can see up here. Mint Mystic Sips by Ahmed Tea London. Green tea, mint leaves and flavouring. Contains caffeine, a delightful green tea blend enhanced with mint leaves for an added accent. For an even more refreshing experience, serve iced with fresh sprigs of mint. Add sugar or honey as desired, or if desired. I think I'm definitely going to enjoy this. I do like mint tea, and I like the mix of the green tea and the mint tea. It's a pretty classic um, mix. I don't know. A blend. A blend of the finest quality green teas enhanced with mint leaves for a refreshing experience. A popular beverage after meals. Mm -hmm. So this one will definitely get enjoyed by myself. So we have one Ahmad tea, two Ahmad teas, three Ahmad teas, and four Ahmad teas. I know I'm trying to get it all nice and lined up. <laughs> I like them. So yeah, definitely a winner for me. I know the brand already, um, and the flavor is perfect. So yeah, let me just cut one open to see how intense it is. Yeah, it's nice. It's not overpowering. Some can be like really like mint up your nose, which is fine too. But this one you can actually smell the green tea too, so it'll be a nice blend. Talking of green teas, we have a very interesting one here. Um, Himalayan green tea sips by Vadam India. I've never heard of Vadam before. Organic Himalayan. So fresh green tea from the Himalayan region in India. The Himalayan region has a special type of soil and climate, bringing out the best character in tea. This premium green tea was skillfully hand-picked at high elevation. The world's freshest tea leaves direct from India's choicest 
tea gardens. It looks very like regal, doesn't it? Just like the coloring with the gold. It's very big. It's like very large size. Hold on. That's like a general size of the packets. This one's quite big. This one talks about re-steeping. You can re-steep it for a second time. Green tea, 100%. 1% <laughs> of our revenue is directed towards the education of our tea growers' children. Oh, well, that's cute. It's called Teach. So we have one, two, they're going to be too big for this shop, three, let's zoom out, get them in, and four. Let me have a look at one of the tea bags. Maybe there's a reason that the packaging is so large. Okay. You can smell a nice soft green tea smell. And the tea bag is, I mean, it is quite large but not like crazy. It's just one of those kind of triangular kind of coney ones. Nothing specifically needing a huge tea like pouch. Okay, so this will also be well appreciated, I'm pretty sure. I do prefer with like a touch of mint but a green tea by itself is also very calming, I find. Okay, they look good. Now we are on to the caffeine free ones. So the first one was contains caffeine, second was medium caffeine. This one and the next one are both caffeine free. Cherry vanilla sips by tea head. Um, this packaging is like the Sips by packaging. You can maybe recognize the little hearts and the tea leaves from the um, from the box. I don't know why some come like this and others don't. I guess maybe when it's like loose leafed, although not always. So okay. So oh, there's a long list of ingredients. Let me get closer to see it. Apple pieces. Hibiscus blossoms, rosehip peel, elderberries, beetroot pieces, rose petals, blackberry leaves, sour cherry pieces, vanilla pieces, and flavoring. That sounds very fruity, but also like berry-ish. So I don't know. It's not really like um, citrusy. So, flavors of sun-ripened cherries and creamy vanilla mixed together for a blend that gives you one scoop of soothing when enjoying hot and one scoop of refreshing when enjoying cold. Okay, that's interesting. Two of the teas in December have been ones that they have recommended trying cold also. Have a little smell and maybe a look. Oh, that smells lovely. It smells like a dessert. I guess that's the vanilla. So there is the blend. It's very dark. I guess it's all the cherry red and, and leaves, that sort of thing. It smells absolutely gorgeous. I hope that it keeps this scent and this taste when um, when brewed. So as it is a loose leaf, 
we have the reusable muslin cloth tea bag with the disposable bags inside. enough for this and the next tea that they have provided which is just perfect it's very convenient um, I guess because like obviously loose sleeve tea is not as convenient This is perfect. Okay, let's move on to our last discovery. This last one, I've definitely had tea from them before. In this format also. And if I'm not mistaken, the, um, the rainbow in the teacup is kind of their illustration. I wouldn't say logo, because it's a bit much for a logo, but their aesthetic. Okay, so the sun showers spice sips by a rainy day tea cup. We have ginger, mm. ginger, carob bits, I don't know what carob is, apple bits, rosehip peels, cinnamon, chicory root, cardamom seeds, black pepper, sweet blackberry leaves, and cloves. Okay, so it could be okay. I think that, um, like, I like the sound of most of it, apart from the ginger and the black pepper and the cloves, but I guess if they're not too, like, strong in the mix, it depends. So, just like the sun peeking through the clouds, this brightly spiced herbal blend is a soothing picnic. Don't want to venture out into the stormy weather? Stay home with a mug and some fuzzy socks. Who would blame you? Okay. Let's have a little smell and maybe a little look. Okay, the smell is definitely very different. <laughs> Um, it's more on the spice side. There's no like, you can't smell any of the apple or soft, fruity vibes. It's really like, I mean, you can see the cardamom in there. <laughs> and like, yeah, pepper, cloves, cardamom. I think this would be something that I would try to soften with milk like with some almond milk or just like soy milk with a little sugar or honey um, we'll see we'll see how it goes so four quite interesting teas there let's have a little look at everything together so here is everything from this month's box I think I'm actually really going to enjoy tasting these out these and these will get used without hesitation. This will definitely get tested. Um, something with like fruity or especially cherry or like berry fruits. Um, I think I steep them too long. There's like a weird bitter taste that comes around. I don't know what it is, but I think I'm gonna have to start thinking about my steeping times. <laughs> Sounds strange, but I'm sure that um, the steeping times are there for a reason. So I think that's where I'm going wrong. There's like this really nice um, strawberry and vanilla tea that I got from Lidl. And I stopped liking it like halfway through the pack because I started having that taste and I think it's just because I'm like leaving it too long before I drink it or I don't know like maybe the steeping time or I don't know or maybe just my taste buds adjusting or something I don't know so we'll have to see I'll try that with this and then for the spicy one I'm just gonna have to add some milk and maybe a little sugar to 
kind of offset that spicy and kind of peppery clove thing. So yeah, pretty nice box for this month. And I'm not feeling like super December vibes, I guess, with these two a little. But um, yeah, it's pretty nice. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. You found it relaxing and interesting to see my teas. Let me know what you got in the in the comments if you're subscribed to. So I hope that you're well wherever you are in the world. find your own little bubble and go for example if you are in India I hope you're well I hope that you have a lovely evening and I'll see you next